What is up, everyone? It is T Biz. Anyways, how y'all doing? Um, I'm okay. And anyways, um, we got to do some organization and some storage. We got to reduce the space of uh, stuff that I have. So, what we're gonna do is do a crazy grand unboxing. We haven't done this in a while. And what I have in front of us is a pile of reaction figures. Um, some I bought, some are gifted from friends, like my brother Wampire, and, um, yeah, so, also some are gifts from, like, my folks from, like, Christmas and stuff like that from a couple years ago. Anyways, love me, Lee. whether you love him or hate him, Super 7's pretty cool, you can't really deny it, and, um, yeah, could be a little cheaper, like I always say, but, hey, man, I'm always still picking up the stuff, and we're always still checking it out, and, pfft. Uh, it, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's like a, it's like a tawdry love affair. I don't know. Anyways, we got some uh, reaction figures to check out. We also got more reaction to do tonight. It's going to be a night of reaction, and maybe a night of some other things too. Just depends because I've got nothing better else to do, and I'm off tonight, so that's a good thing. But anyways, I'm going to shut up, and um, we're going to open up all these figures, and. Um, and man, you know what's a weird thing too? Is that I can't get around, it's hard to get around trolling. Like it doesn't happen too often here, it happens a little bit, but not much. But just like in YouTube in general, I guess it's the fact that you can be rude without consequences. And I'm guilty of it, everybody's guilty of it at some point. I know I have been, you know. And, um, but not, you know, I don't go watch toy videos and talk smack or, you know. Or uh, criticize toy reviewers, anything like that. I don't, I don't do that just because uh, that seems kind of silly. That's like, that's like go. I don't know. <laughs> it's just silly. It's like going to. Uh, I, don't, I can't think of a good analogy, but it's like going to a happy, fun place and complaining. You know, a place where you're supposed to have some fun and just being all like frumpy. You know, and then kind of makes no sense. You know, it, it it really doesn't to me, but. If you look, I watch a lot of different YouTube videos, and I know we're getting on a rant here. We're going on a couple minutes, but um, yeah, you watch different stuff from like skate videos to like um, gurus to like rock and roll, heavy metal stuff like that. All different kinds of videos, you know. And um, you see people just get real ugly and real negative, and just like and off the cuff, or just like. Uh, or just nonchalantly like rude and negative. And it's always kind of crazy. It's like, um, are, 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 is my opinion really necessary? No, it's not. Is yours? Not really. I mean, it, our opinions aren't really necessary at all. And, and to share them isn't really necessary at all either. It's just kind of a waste of breath and a waste of time. But yet we all do it. You know? Anyways, I'm going to shut up and we're going to get all these figures open and check them out. All right, folks, we've got about 10 figures in and, um, Good old Dr. Zaius, man. I, I love Planet of the Apes. It's a fun movie. Um, it's kind of borderline frightening to me uh, because I feel like if, if you're going to have like um, ape soldiers, like General Aldo or whatever, like running around on horses in your neighborhood with those red eyes coming to like, you know, enslave you, that's that's pretty freaking scary. Plus, I love their guns, man. They have just these weird shotgun looking things, rifles. Very cool. But, um, yeah, I, I love that movie. I, I grew up with it, you know. And um, as a kid, I was kind of, I don't know, there's a lot of movies I was scared of. And until recently, like, I think I watched, I'm 45 years old, and I watched Friday the 13th, the first one, for the first time ever. Like, I think it was on Hulu or whatever, um, a few days ago. And it was hilarious. It's one of the most funniest movies I've ever seen. And I guess it's not supposed to be funny, but you got to remember, I, I, I've seen a lot of crazy movies that, early ages and stuff so you know but yet I was scared of a lot of stuff too so it's kind of it's it's, it's weird it's kind of contradicts itself but uh but yeah I don't know sometimes movies like that just make me laugh I don't know what it is I guess it's because they're just kind of corny and old school and just you know just kind of made poorly I mean uh, compared to nowadays but um but back then you know that was the bee's knees but yeah here's the uh, Phantom of the Opera Mask of the Red Death a pretty cool figure man Never seen this movie. Need to. Definitely need to. That's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, the thing I like about reaction figures, I always feel like you could throw them with your Star Wars guys. Or if you had them with um, some old Indiana Jones from Kenner from back in the day, you could throw them with them too and stuff like that. And just, you know, do a lot of things with them. 
And there's uh, I believe I got this from Wampire, the T1000 Frozen Terminator, which is pretty funny. It's just like silver plastic or gray plastic with the uh, blue glitter. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Frozen Cop. That's pretty cool. I gotta check his packaging because he might have had a gun. I don't think he did, but he might. I'll have to double check. Then the Earth AD Fiend from the Misfits. Pretty cool. There's people that like, I mean, I like the Misfits. I only have a couple of these, but there are some dudes and ladies out there, I guess, that collected like a ton of these. They bought a lot of them, like every flavor. Like it's almost like an Easter basket of uh, Misfits Fiends. But, um,. Yeah, I just was like, I can have a couple, that's it. I mean, there's a couple I missed out on, like the Glow in the Dark one, I think goes for a lot of money. And um, yeah, man, it's another one. I believe I got this from Vampire too. Uh, is uh, The Mangalore from Fifth Element. This movie's annoying. It's good, but it also annoys me. Long story. But anyways, uh, yeah, this figure's cool. It came with some rad guns back then. Really cool guns. And this is back when, I believe, a lot. some of these early ones are back when they were doing stuff with Funko. Like, I think the Terminator stuff and um, the Fifth Element stuff. Yeah, they were, like, doing things with Funko. Here's a Terminator. He came with some wicked guns. You, you could use these with your G.I. Joes. I was, like, so close to getting some G.I. Joe reactions today, but I didn't. I was at FYE, and I was close, really close. I was like, man, I've been wanting to check these out really bad. Uh, I kind of been really trying to budget my money a lot lately and save. And I was just like, oh, man, I really want to get these. But I was like, do I need them? No, but I like them. Yes. And I didn't. And I was like, oh, man. Anyways. But <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say that I wish I was a lady and had boobs and had a Patreon or whatever. Because I would do that. Uh, but I would have no soul. But anyways, um, yeah, Cornelius is an astronaut. This figure is rad, man. I've never opened him up. Had him for a really long time. Never opened him up. But this is cool. Once again, it can go with your Star Wars guys. So that's cool. Star Wars has nothing to do with these, but I figure it'd be cool because maybe you have Dr. Seuss versus um, Obi-Wan or they could be brothers, like yeah, human and ape brothers. But anyways, here's the space space knot guy from Aliens with the, the face hugger. I forget, this come off or not because I think this is the only one I have of these. I don't think I have any more of these figures oh my god Oop. yeah it comes off there you go that's cool that's the first time i ever opened one of those i need to get like because man i know uh, i'm so bad about things sometimes where's it at yeah anyhow that's all you get but yeah it's still a cool figure and then ripley with her kitty cat It's cool. I got this from actually a Christmas present for my folks. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's your cat weapon. But anyways. Uh, I'm just asking for it. I swear to God, I'm just asking for it on some of these. Yeah, but man, I haven't seen Alien in a while. Or Aliens in a while. I know I've watched them, but it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. But anyways, we gotta keep this going. And we're still rolling. We got uh got good old bones, because yeah, there's a time where I was like, man, I wanna have uh most of all the Star Trek figures, which I have most of them, but I'm still missing quite a few. I'm not sure how many have gone up in value or if um, they're just hard to find or whatever. I think maybe something like the green alien chick might be kind of uh, expensive. There's Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. And this is a rad figure, Goblins and Ghouls or whatever. But yeah, it's a hard-ass game. I tried to play it because my brother Vampire gave me the, the, super, the mini Super NES, and that game is so freaking hard, dude. That, that game is not... Uh, Got Sira or Zira, Planet of the Apes. Got a lot of Planet of the Apes. Cornelius, with I guess it's the map or the scroll to the um, Forbidden Zone, I think. And then Mendez 28 or 88, is it? But this figure's cool because you can take off his face thing, his mask. Ooh, crap. That didn't sound good. Ooh. And it's that dude. That's pretty cool, man. I almost. I wonder if you. If you did some paint job to this or switched um, bodies or maybe put them on a sand person body and uh, painted it up like the vintage figure. You can make like a, um, a Boba Fett, book of Boba Fett figure, probably. 
but I think, yeah, okay, it goes back on a lot easier second time around, so that's cool. Then we've got um, various ape soldiers, which one an army build. This one's got bad paint. I didn't realize that because I never took it out of the package. That's why it helps sometimes to just unbox stuff. But then again, some people are just MOC people. I'm not really. I used to kind of be, but not really, man. It takes up too much space. Some things, yes. Some things, no. But in the long run, it takes up too much space. And then the Lawgiver statue. This thing's cool. And it's articulated, which is kind of funny. It's like one of Dr. Sayus' uh, distant relatives or something. It's all ape law. Ape. Ape knowledge. Bunch of ape mumbo jumbo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah. One thing I realized too is that, um, look at the box, that I don't have General Ursus. I also don't have Nova and Taylor, which really bums me out. <laughs> like, man. Because I think at one point I was like, I'm going to have all the Planet of the Apes figures. And then I just kind of forgot about it and was like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> all right, folks. And we're continuing this unboxing, man. We're, we're done now for pretty much uh, all this extra random stuff I had with the, the first Phantom Star Killer. I don't know if it's like a major sin to open him up, but you got to do it anyways. He's cool, man. Awesome. Awesome piece. The Great Garlu. He's always cause he wanted to open him up, man. He's cool. I like him. And let's see. And Blue Azura from the Hellbent, the Healy Maid figure, which is cool. Very cool. A nod to the, oh, uh, is it Uze or whatever? Indian knockoffs of uh, Star Wars figures. Trap Jaw, because I think I have a variant of Trap Jaw or something. Or, I don't know. I know I have another trap jaw. It might be the same one, but what the heck? Why not? Blue Demon. Because you never know when the Blue Demon is going to have to fight somebody or whatever. Blue Demon versus a Planet of the Apes or Blue Demon versus Robo Reaper from the worst. And that tells you how much I fell off because they've done quite a few more things with the worst. And I just haven't picked them up, man. But you can't just collect everything. That's, that's another thing of being a liking action figures and liking collecting and stuff is that you can't really always you can't just always pick everything up man it's just it's it's impossible unless you're like i don't know denzel washington or something like that i don't know <laughs> yeah. here's the black and white batula most pimpin kisses ring kiss it yeah the most pimpin anthropomorphic uh bat bat guy with the vinyl cape Gotta love him. And then there's Battle Damaged Robocop. Never got opened. I never got the Glow in the Dark Robocop either. But I'm not so much into all the Glow in the Dark variants. Really not. But imagine what kind of movie that would be that featured all these characters. <laughs> like if they ever did a crazy movie. Like, you know, like they had like not another horror movie or not another teen movie or not another whatever scary movie. Well, all these, you know, movies and stuff. Not another superhero movie or whatever. Like those cheesy movies. Imagine how awesome this movie, if they took it serious and it had all these characters in it, it'd be so rad. Here's Papa Emeritus Nihil, which um, some people are probably, why did you take it out of the card? I don't know, why not, man? Why keep a bunch of carded stuff taking up a lot of space? That's what I say. That is what I say. Here's that little aquarium exclusive creature from the Black Lagoon. He's cool, man. This little box is cool, but man, boxes just take up space, man. Future Marty. Which, well, it's Marty disguises future Marty with the hoverboard. And that was off an exclusive card. But, eh, eh, not that big a deal, man. You could have two of them. You could have them as, uh, they could just be like some kind of guys working in like, um, like a rebel, uh, rebel space hangar or something. You know, you could totally do that. Kyle Reese. It's a cool but funny figure. With the sneakers. High water pants. Trench coat. Awesome shot off shot or not shot off shotgun, but shotgun pump action shotgun, revolver pistol, cool stuff. Ooh, cool stuff, man. And then right next to the T eight hundred, very cool, very flimsy figure. I never realized how the back metal is awesome, but I never realized how flimsy this figure was until I got it. And um, I think it was uh, joining when I was on Facebook, and and I joined the the fan group or whatever on the, the fan page. 
which I met Brother Todd Smith and um, Edgar Diorama on there. And I believe quite a other few people on there too. I think maybe, I think maybe Avian Savage as well. I can't remember or not. I can't, I can't remember, but like, I know it's quite a, I know it's a good, good handful of good people that I met on there that actually stuck with me after I got off Facebook and are still friends and stuff like that to the channel and stuff went on Instagram and stuff too, which is really cool and I always appreciate very much so. And yeah, that's a look at a, another grand unboxing. I've got all this stuff on the floor now. All these freaking cards, and now I gotta go get rid of them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the videos rolling tonight. And um, yeah, we're gonna have some more stuff coming up soon. All right, later.